Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we will discuss the control flow graphs. The control flow graph is a graphical representation of a program's control structure. It uses the elements named process blocks, decisions, and junctions. The flow graph is similar to the earlier flow chart with which it is not to be confused. The flow graph elements are firstly the process block second one is the decision field third one is the junctions and fourth one are the case statements in the process block a process block is a sequence of program statements uninterrupted by either decision or junctions it is a sequence of statements such that if any one of the statement of the block is executed, then all statements thereof are executed. Formally, a process block is a piece of straight line code of one statement or hundreds of statements. A process has one entry and one exit. It can consist of a single statement or instruction, a sequence of statement or instruction, a single entry or exit subroutine, a macro or call function, or a sequence of these. The graphical representation of a process is all the processes are entered within a rectangular box with an in arrow where the inflow is represented as an arrow towards the rectangular box and the outfield is represented as arrow from the rectangular field. The second one is the decision. A decision is a program point at which the control flow can diverge. The machine language conditional branches and conditional skip instructions are examples of decision. In the programming languages, the statements like if, if else, while, do while, etc. are the decision making statements. Most of the decisions are two way, but some of them are three way decision branches in control flow. In the graphical representation, a decision is represented in a diamond in which all the decisions are written within the diamond and the outcome of the decision are two way but some cases these outcomes are also three way branches the third one is a case statement a case statement is a multi way branch or decision examples of case statements are a jump table in assembly language the case statements in the pascal c C++, Java, and many of the high-level languages. So in the high-level language, we can see the switch case statement where these switch cases represent a multi-way branching or multi-way decision-making statement. From the point of view of a test design, there are no difference between these decision as well as the case statements. In the graphical representation, the case statements are represented by using a circular symbol. The fourth one is the junctions. A junction is a point in the program where the control flow can merge. The examples of junctions are the target of a jump or skip instruction in the assembly language program, a label that is a target of go to. So in a junction condition, the process in that particular case may arise from two or more other process or simply we can say a junction is a convergence of two or more previous stages. In the graphical representation, a junction is represented as a circular representation with the processes are numbered and two or more arrows are coming towards the circle which indicates that process is having a junction point. So my dear students, we had discussed the control flow graph. So a control flow graph is a graphical representation of a program's control structure and it uses the different elements like process block, decision, junctions and case statements. 
So as we discussed, these control flow graphs are somewhat similar to the flow charts. Some of the resemblance as well as the differences are a program's flow chart resembles a control flow graph. In the flow graph, we do not show the detail of what is in a process block. In a flow chart, every part of the process block is drawn and the flow chart focuses on process steps where a flow graph focuses on control flow of the program. The act of drawing a control flow graph is a useful tool that can help us to clarify the control flow and data flow issues. So my dear students, these control flow graphs are used to represent the graphical representation of a program's control structure. So dear students, kindly go through these assignment questions. The questions are first one write in detail about the control flow graph and second one compare control flow graph and flow charts so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the path the predicates predicates and achievable paths see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best